Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one part of a series of videos involving ecology. This video will provide an overview as well as some examples of the math involved in two different models of population growth, the exponential model and logistic model that are exhibited in the pictures provided here. There are two different models for population growth that both attempt to explain how a population can grow over a period of time if they have a positive growth rate. The exponential model describes how a population can grow in conditions where there are no limiting factors. While this model is not realistic long term, what is observed is a very rapid growth rate. The larger the population gets, the faster that it increases in size, as suggested by the greater and greater slope to the line provided in the picture to the left as time goes on. Examples of where this type of growth can be observed would include the human population boom over the last 250 years, or, for example, bacterial population growth on a peachy dish. There are three equations that are used for different calculations involving exponential growth. First, exhibited in number one, you may need to know from time to time uh, what the growth rate, or R, of a population is. To do this, you can just subtract the number of deaths from the number of births over a given period of time and divide it by the size of the population. If you want to estimate the size of the population after one unit of time, you can use equation number two. If you know the present size of the population, n subscript p, and multiply it times the growth rate, r, you can estimate what nf, the future population size, will be. You may sometimes want to estimate the future population size many units of time, or t, into the future. As opposed to repeatedly using the second formula over and over, you can modify equation two by taking growth rate to the t power as shown in equation three. For this first example problem, what we'll try to do is calculate r, or the growth rate of a population. If there are 900 births and 300 deaths in a population whose size is 2,000, what would the growth rate be? To determine the growth rate, you would take the number of births, 900, minus the number of deaths, 300, and divide that by the total population size, that's 2,000. 900 minus 300 divided by 2,000 is equal to 0.3, the growth rate of the population. Using the second equation, we might try to estimate NF, or the future population, after one unit of time. If the population in a year is 937, and the growth rate of that population is 0.03, what would next year's estimated population be? To determine the future population, all that you would need to know is the growth rate and the current population size. If you take 1 plus 0 0.03, the growth rate for this population, and multiply it times 937, the current year's population, you would end up with 965.11, or the future size of this population. If instead of wanting to know next year's population size, you might want to estimate the size of the population 11 years down the road, you'd need to use equation number three. It takes into account the same factors, except it involves the units of time, or t. If you multiply 937, the size of the current year's population, times 1 plus 0 0.03, or the growth rate of the population, and take that uh, 1 plus 0 0.03 to the 11th power, what you'd end up with for a projected population size is 1,297. Sometimes there are limiting factors that suppress the potential size of a population. The logistic model is a more realistic representation of a population growth because it takes into account these limiting factors. Examples of these factors, food or nesting space, for example, act to uh, keep it from growing further and further. The largest population that the environment can sustain because of these limiting resources is called a population's carrying capacity. As you can see in the graphic to the left, no population can increase in size forever. The model of growth shows that while a population can increase in size very quickly short term, as the population size comes closer and closer to the carrying capacity, the growth rate or slope of the line begins to level off. Logistic growth uses the same variables as exponential growth, but with one addition, the letter K. Letter K stands for carrying capacity, or the maximum number of individuals that the environment can sustain long term. In this example problem, if the population of humans on Earth is currently 8 billion, and the carrying capacity of humans on Earth is 9 billion, with a growth rate of 0 0.02, what would the expected population size be next year? 
To determine next year's population size using this logistic model of growth, you would have to take the current population, 8 billion, plus the growth rate, 0.02, times the current population size, 8 billion, and then mul multiply those numbers times the uh, carrying capacity of the population minus the current population divided by the uh, carrying capacity of the population. That is 9 billion minus 8 billion divided by 9 billion. When you plug all those numbers into your calculator, what you would arrive at is 8.017 billion, or 8 billion 17 million individuals. That is the end of this video, overviewing and providing some mathematic examples involving different uh, models of population growth. If you are interested in learning about other levels of ecology or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.